Hi guys and gals out in YouTube land. This is Miss Beverly and I'm coming at you today looking crazy like this because I'm going to do a half wig um, tutorial for you. I haven't uh, done any and uh, now that it's starting to get really hot this summer it, it's time to maybe break some of those half wigs out. Um, the one I'm going to do for you today is by Newborn Free. It's called Dolce or Dolce. Uh, or Dolce, I don't know how they pronounce it, and it's in an FS430. I don't have the little card for it anymore. Um, it is um, one of the uh, Demi Cat half wigs, so it has the drawstring and um, the uh, comb in the, across the top, and not too obnoxiously long and then also the comb at the back as well as the drawstring here. Um, this is an older wig of mine. I'm not usually a big fan of newborn free. <laughs> um, if you guys have seen my uh, Paradise and my uh, Freya vids, you'll know. Um, but um, this half wig I actually did like. It's actually held up pretty nice. It's one of the first wigs I bought again on this round back uh, a few months ago. Um, after I saw Muffins as my lovers do it, and uh, I, I really like it. So, anyway, let's go on with the tutorial. Um, as you can see, I pull hair out from ear to ear. Some people only pull like right here and here out, but I, I like to pull entire the entire periphery out. And then what I've done here is, um, I've actually already turned in my on my curling iron. So because this curl has a little loose, um, little loose curl to it, I'm just going to kind of, oops, kind of just bump my own hair back a little bit um, for this look. I'm also going to share with you guys some really cool accessories to use um, with your uh, half wigs or even wigs, um, besides the, you know, the drab hair band or headbands, you know, um, there's lots of cool other stuff that's out there. So I'm going to show you guys some of that too. And um, let's see, hopefully my time's going okay. Um, I've got a bunch of new wigs to do also. Um, I've got a couple of other new free dress wigs. I've got a new um, model model wig. Um, now those are all full wigs. And I think I'm going to visit blackhairspray.com and pick up a couple of new half wigs. Since this girl is getting a little bit older, um, I want to get something that's, you know, uh, a little newer and fresher. But I wanted to show you guys this one since she did last pretty well. Um, as you can see, it's not going to take me very long. I'm just putting a little bump in in my hair um, as my own hair is straight as a board. Although it's growing nicely. Alright you guys, just a little ow, a little bump. The one thing I will say about um, my hair wearing the half wigs, is, or uh, wearing the full wigs, is that <coughs> underneath it, it gets really greasy, which is not a good look. Um, but we're, we're going to roll with it today. I'm looking for my clip so I can throw this girl on. Hold on. Yep. Well, damn it, I don't know where it went. Okay, I'm just going to look in my mirror here again and throw it on. I start out here in the front. Pull her down in the back. Uh, 
I don't mind the drawstrings. I'm not a huge fan of the drawstring, though. Um, let me tighten this bad boy down here. It's kind of awkward to deal with the drawstring for me personally. But, um, let me make it work here. Okay. I've got my brush. So you can see kind of how she sits here. Not too, too thick on the head, uh, on the hairline, but it's a little thick. She's been away in a bag, so she's a bit nappy. So, some I do one of two things. Um, because, you know, you beautiful African American women can take the, your own hair and just brush it back into the wig and have it just rocking. Unfortunately for us Caucasian individuals, it doesn't necessarily work that way. We can't utilize the QP gel or the black and sassy and have that work for us because of our hair texture. So, um, what I often do, if I'm not going to use a headband, what I will do is I will pull something like this. I will pull some off to the side, kind of in this manner. And then I'll use one of these. Can you see that? Just one of these little clips. And I'll clip it back like that. And then on this side, it's sort of like the part, if you will. If I was going to wear this out, I'd also put a couple of bobby pins in. But just for our purposes. Then I take this side and kind of do a similar little thing with it. to try to uh, camouflage. Oh shit, I dropped my pen. Sorry, you guys. There we go. A couple of strays here. I brushed this hair, but you can't really tell it. And of course, like I said, this wig is a bit older. Um, let me show you guys the back of it. This wig's probably mm, maybe four months old. So, you know. But here's the back. Just really a long, loose curl. It does have, like I said, the comb, although I don't have a whole lot of hair in the back, so I can put my hair in a little ponytail, just the bottom part of it, but it doesn't give the hair a whole, the, uh, I mean, the, the comb a whole lot to hold on to. Um, here we go. So, there we go. So you guys can see kind of how to uh, pull back your own hair in a little clip. Um, the wig line is really not noticeable at all because I've pulled back into these little tiny jaw clips um, my own hair and just blended it together that way. Um, but let me show you a couple of other things. I use. Um, obviously the trusty headband can be used. Um, here's a different variation of the bobby pin. These are in different colors. Here, let me see if you can see the different colors. And I've got, uh, if I'm going to just pull up one side, this is one of these kind of barrettes, which is great. 
And then I've got these clips, which I just love. They're from Vidal Sassoon, and they're just like little barrettes. So I could really, technically, instead of using the um, clip I have now, I could use one of these barrettes. So there you have it, newborn free Dolce. Um, hang in there, stay tuned, and I'll be back at you with some more wig reviews. Rock on. Bye-bye.